Hey what's up guys, it's Lily and today's video is going to be a fall makeup tutorial. I absolutely love this look. This is the completed look. I really like it and I hope you do too. And I feel like I've said that a million times but I guess I don't really have anything else to say. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm going to start by simply just putting my hair up. I'm just using a primer or a moisturizer for a base. Now just taking your favorite BB cream or foundation and a damp beauty blender or makeup sponge and just apply that all over. I'm just going to be taking a concealer that matches my skin tone and is a little bit lighter and applying that on any blemishes and underneath my eyes. And to apply it on blemishes, I usually put it on my finger instead of just straight on. Taking my powder, I'm just pressing it into my skin so I don't get oily. Now I'm just taking my bronzer and a really thin brush and just doing that on my nose and below my cheekbones and then applying some blush on my cheeks. Next I'm just going in with my highlighter. And for my eyeshadow I'm just taking a gold cream eyeshadow for all over my lids. To set that, I'm just taking a gold regular eyeshadow and patting that over. Now I'm just taking a shimmery bronze color and putting it on the outer third or outer half of my eyelid. This is up to you. This may seem weird, but just to warm up the eye, I'm just taking a bronzer on a puffy brush and putting it in my crease. Now I'm just taking another fluffy brush and blending out my crease and also blending the gold and the bronze together. Now I'm just taking a matte dark brown color and doing the outer V of my eye, and this step is optional. Now I'm just doing some more blending. Taking a shimmery white color, I'm just putting that in the inner corner of my eye. I'm also taking that same glittery white color and putting it as a brow bone highlight. The next step is to just fill in your eyebrows and you don't have to if you don't want to if you're a little bit younger or if you just have naturally flawless eyebrows, not like me. This is another optional step, but you can take a very dark brown or a black color and press it into your lash line like I did. And this just kind of darkens up the look if you're going for a little bit more, I guess, mysterious look. I don't know how you would describe it, but there you go. I'm curling my lashes up like crazy because that's just the look I was going for and applying my favorite mascara on both my top and bottom lashes. Since I am a bit younger, I just took a nude lipstick with a pinkish, orangish, reddish lip gloss 
just since I'm a bit younger, but if you're older, you can totally go for one of those like amazing looking fall dark colors. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below any makeup tutorial requests or any random video requests and subscribe. Oh, yeah, I haven't said this in like a couple of my past videos, but make sure you follow all my social media. I will link it down below. I love you guys so much. Peace, love, bye.